Namaskar. In this farm where we practice natural farming, I planted uh, many trees which are local and uh, which belong to this region, like the coconut tree, the areca nut tree, uh, the cashew nut, which is a big cash crop, as also various varieties of mangoes and other local fruits, including the jackfruit. But today in this video, I would like to share with you an amazing bounty of nature that is available to us in the form of wild fruits, vegetables, roots, etc. Hindi mein kahen to jangli sabziyan. Let us have a look at the varieties available here. Here we have planted a local variety of a forest vegetable slash fruit which is called karanda. You can see these brown colored fruits hanging from these climbers. They are climbers and you can even leave them beneath any tree and the seeds will sprout and they will climb all along the tree and offer their fruits within three to four months after the towards the end of monsoon. So they should be ready in about another month. And traditionally here, this fruit is also considered uh, an essential auspicious item to be had on the day of, on the morning of Deepavali. Moving on, here is another one, which is called Kangi in the local language. And the Kangi is, is a, a root. It is a tuber and it is found beneath this soil when we dig it in about another three weeks time. The kangi is a little similar to the potato and uh, it's also eaten in a similar fashion by boiling it and uh, skinning it. There are of course many other offerings from the forest where we do not intervene. Uh, the nature makes it available to us as and when and where it deems fit and we have to look and hunt for those locations. Let us go and find the first one in this rather bushy space. Now let us move into this a little bushy region and there we find what is called the Taikala. The Taikala is this plant with its small leaves and these leaves are very tasty and can be cooked like, uh, like spinach or any other green leaf offering. These are wild and they grow in the monsoon season and available only in these two months. If we have time, we will also prepare a sabzi. We'll prepare a vegetable out of this uh, taikala later if we have time. Meanwhile, let us move on to another very interesting offering from the forest called the ek paan. It is called so because paan in Marathi means leaf and ek is one. Yes, this is a very tiny slender thing which has a, uh, from its root spouts a small shoot on which there is only one leaf. It is very rarely seen and even when it is in very small quantities, I was told that there were some in this uh, region. Let us go have a look. Okay, now where is it? Where is it? It is here somewhere. Ah, oh, I think I've spotted one. Yes, here is the ek pan, a solitary leaf on a solitary stem. There's a second and then right behind it, I can see a third behind. Yes, yes, there it is, a small one. These are the ek pans in the forests of the Konkan. Now let's move on to another item which many of you perhaps like very much, the mushroom. Uh, not commercially grown mushrooms, but the wild mushrooms which are available in this season, in the rainy season, are plenty here but which must be very carefully recognized and selected. I believe uh, there are some mushrooms which have been spotted just this morning uh, beyond uh, our well on that side. Let us go and have a look. There's our well and if we go beyond and look, if I'm not mistaken it should be beyond our compound wall. Yes, so let me get someone to fetch some and show you some pictures. Here they are. But we must not confuse those mushrooms with these ones, which 
are not edible they look beautiful i know but they are not edible yet another generous offering from the forests of this region is the bamboo shoot yes bamboo shoots of a particular variety when they are tender are plucked and cooked and it makes for a very very tasty dish in this season let us go find some right here this is one type of bamboo which is not the very long and stiff bamboo which we use in construction these are the very slender ones if you see these are very slender ones with smaller leaves and uh, these when the new shoots come out in this season like this one can you see this at the tip of my finger is the end it's its end and here down below this is how it's come out as it is sprouted from the roots of the older bamboos this is the one which is taken out uh deleaved and uh, chopped and cooked for a very tasty bamboo shoot dish so that brings us to uh, the end of the discovery part of uh, scoring this this entire four and a half acre region and uh, to look for uh, the bounty offerings uh, from nature uh, the rest of it of course is to enjoy it is to uh, cook it and uh, enjoy the meal we are on a hilly terrain and uh, i'm a little short of breath because even though uh, i will be eventually editing and uh, presenting this to you in 6 uh, to 8 minutes it has taken me a good part of 45 minutes and about 2 kilometers of walking and hunting through uh, the forest which is always an enjoyable exercise if you are in a farm i want to conclude with just one thought uh, which i want to share with you uh, this concept of food insecurity uh, which uh, of course combines with so many other fears that we have uh, fear of not having enough to eat fear of not having enough money tomorrow fear of not holding my job fear of not uh, being able to hold my relationship so many fears but the food part is one which can be addressed even though they are all related uh, the food part is one which uh, can be addressed a little bit if you have Uh, an exposure to a place like this and have the time and 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 a free mind and a peaceful environment and look and appreciate at what uh, mother nature has to offer because please remember uh, before the human species even came into being uh, the earth uh, got itself ready to sustain us and it still has the capability provided uh, we learn to live with the forest rather than uh, learning the only way which we know in modern civilization and that is to clear out kill all the forests and then to live in its place i will try and quickly uh, assemble a few photographs of the finished product of one of the things that we'll be cooking today uh, the taikala i think that's on our on our menu food from the forest and so stay healthy stay happy namaskar